So for those of you looking for a secret hack to make more money, a secret strategy that's gonna make you successful or a secret workout that's gonna give you that sebum physique, then this ain't your video. Sorry to break it to you, but today's video is actually a reality check with your self-improvement that I really think that you need to hear. This is overlooked by at least 99% of people and I just can't understand why. Now, the last few days I've taken some time off of YouTube just to get my head around self-improvement, why I'm doing this, what, why I'm talking about what I'm talking about, what others are talking about. And I came to the conclusion that nearly all of us are missing this one thing and it's acceptance. Now in self-improvement, we're always looking to the future. We're looking to the next level. We're seeing that like ideal version of ourselves that we are working towards. And by default, we're diminishing who we are now. Because if we're saying this is what I want, then it's like our brain automatically thinks, and this is what I don't want. If the future's good, that means the present's bad. Like that's automatically what our brain is going to. And we need to change that because obviously, you can tell that that's not a good thing, that's not a situation we want to be in. Those thought processes are not good, they are not healthy, and yeah, we want good, healthy, fulfilling, purposeful, happy lives. On Instagram, and on YouTube as well, you'll see like the whole aesthetic, you'll see the physiques, you'll see the money they're making, you'll see the lifestyles they're living. We see the end picture. We don't see like the struggles, the hard work, the early days. We've almost convinced ourselves that it's accept who we are now or aim to be better. Now I've had this conversation with so many people because like I'm such a huge advocate of self-improvement. A lot of people say, well, why aren't you happy with who you are? And it, it makes me pause a little bit because from anyone else, they would see if you're achieving for more then you're clearly not happy with who you are, but I am happy with who I am. I accept who I am. It's almost like we have convinced ourselves that it's accept who we are now or strive to be better. And it's that key bit there, it's or. Why do we think that it's either one or the other? Why can't it be both? For me, I love to chase more. I love to like achieve more. Like right now, I'm sorting out the new apartment that I'll be getting, which is an upgrade from this place. Like I'm looking for more clients to grow my business. I'm looking to get a better physique. I'm looking to eat at nicer places. Like I strive for more and that's not a bad thing. I think you'll be the exact same. You will strive for more in various areas of your life. You want more, but we can be so quick to overlook and diminish where we're at right now. Like this place is fucking sick. Like I love it. I've got like a private pool. How cool is that? Like, I don't want to seem like I'm bragging, but this is accepting that I've, I'm lucky, I'm grateful, I'm doing really well. I wouldn't have done it without all of these situations and everything that's happened and all like the hard work and stuff. But if I just focus on the next place, the next villa, the next motorbike, then I'd quickly diminish what I have now. And to truly stick with self-improvement, we have to, we have to love the process. We have to like enjoy our daily life. And that comes from acceptance. Now over the past few days, I've been journaling, reading, thinking a lot about this. And I found that it comes down to three things. We're accepting who we are. We're accepting that things go wrong sometimes. And we're accepting that the plan does change over time. I'll break down each one of those. So accepting who we are, obviously you are accepting this present version of yourself. Now this present version of yourself, now Sam Ovens talked us about this, he, there is only the developing self. So who you are now is a culmination of all your actions, thoughts, beliefs in the past that have all led to who you are now, where you are, what you are doing. So it's accepting that, it's like being grateful for like, look, I did these things and here I am. Or maybe I did these bad things or maybe I did some stuff wrong. I'm not gonna put myself down, I'm gonna accept that and like, right, this is who I am, this is my situation, this is what I have to work with. Now the second one, accepting that things go wrong. With self-improvement, we're so harsh on ourselves, and I know you are as well. Let's say you, I don't know, you go out for beers or something, and then the next day, the hangover doesn't matter. I know this, and you'll know this. It's not the hangover that gets you. It's the thought of like, oh, you did that, why did you do that? You went out boozing when you're meant to be improving as a person. 
And how bad is that? We go out boozing because maybe we had fun. Maybe we needed to let ourselves off. Like, I don't know, it's just this weird thing where we're just so quick to put ourselves down, but accepting that things go wrong, accepting failures sometimes. Like, I've had a shit ton of failures in the past couple of weeks. Things just go wrong day after day and you just feel like, fuck, you're just frustrated, lonely, down, anxious, just questioning everything. Like, I've been questioning so much and I realized I had problems accepting that things go wrong. I set myself such a high standard, almost too high, that I couldn't accept when things couldn't go, would go wrong. And I think that's an important lesson for me to learn and I wanted to share that with you, that things go wrong, we accept them, we learn from them, and we just fucking move forward. And the third thing is that is accepting that the plan changes. Yeah, you might have this vision in your mind of like where you want to be in a year's time, but when you're putting in those daily actions and like a few weeks, a couple months go by, you realize that's not what you want. Maybe you like, you have opportunities to go somewhere else or you get into a relationship. Like the plan changes always. It's, I don't know. We, a lot of times we're like journaling and envisioning stuff we think, oh, we have to, we have to achieve this, or, or else I'm a failure. I have to achieve this, or else I'm fucking useless. All right. But the plan changes. The plan changes so much, and you need to accept that. You need to accept that. All right, things might not be going the way that I was journaling six months ago, but that doesn't mean it's not going well. Like you might think, oh, I had this opportunity to go into business with this person, and now I'm doing this instead. And you think, oh, but my, my journal a few months ago said I should be doing this. Just do what you feel is right. I know that sounds a bit stupid, right? So I'll rephrase that as live in accordance with your values. Okay, now this is very important. Live in accordance with your values. If an opportunity comes along and taking it aligns with your values, like you're like, yeah, this this seems really good, then go for it. Don't worry about what the journal said three months ago. All right, just go for it. Accepting that the plan will change because you never know what's gonna happen. Like a few months ago, I would have never even thought I'd be on YouTube, but then me and Jack met Hamza and Sam, and then we were just like, oh, well, this is us now. <laughs> And like, look at it, look at Jack, look at the success that he's seen is absolutely phenomenal. Just from meeting someone and like Hamza saying, yeah, you should start a YouTube channel. And now his life has completely changed. It's such a fantastic thing to see up close. I don't know why I'm looking out there as if he's just out there, just clawing at the window. Just remember that you don't have to always stick to your plan. It's okay for it to change. I think this video is for those of you who are feeling like you're not making any progress, feeling stuck, feeling unsure with what you want to do, feeling like you're at a crossroads. I think if you just take a step back, like I've done over the past week or so, and reflect, it's very powerful because you, you start to see things from a completely different perspective. You're like, right, why am I doing these things? Why am I thinking these things, why? Like question your beliefs as well. My belief was like self-improvement, like, oh yeah, we have to go for that Instagram aesthetic of like waking up early, meditating, having this hour long morning routine. Like my morning routine now is wake up, have some water, put the coffee machine on and start work. Like for someone who was briefly named the CEO of morning routines, that's not much of a fucking morning routine. But right now that suits me suits me perfectly and yeah you've just got to realize that it's okay to enjoy your life waking up every day at 5 a.m does not mean that you're going to be successful it doesn't mean that you're going to be any like making more money or being fitter than anyone else like that's just yeah you just accept accept that because the reality is that yeah doing all these Instagram aesthetic, like, habits might not be for you. Accept that it's okay to love life. It's okay to just do things that you wanna do. 
whether it's in your fucking morning routine or not. So today's video, I just want you to think about this. Have you included acceptance in your um, in your life? Don't f fucking forget about self improvement. Have you introduced acceptance into your life? Do you accept who you are right now? Are you all right with the fact that things go wrong and they will go wrong? Like that dream version of you that you have envisioned, things go wrong for him all the time on a daily basis, all right? Things don't stop going wrong. We just become better people. We learn how to deal with it. And finally, have you accepted that the plan is going to change? I've tried following the Instagram aesthetic, self-improvement lifestyle, and the reality is that it doesn't fucking work, all right? Yeah, that's it. Um, I just want you to accept Bring in acceptance into your life. Have a reflection on what you're doing. Look at the size of these delts. Jesus Christ. And yeah, that was all I wanted to say. I'm just sort of taking my channel in a different direction. Um, introducing more reality of self-improvement rather than just this fucking, like I say, Instagram aesthetic that people want to see, the morning routines, the fucking day in the life shit that, you know, I need, I'm, basically, I'm being more transparent on what it's actually like living a life of self-improvement. All right. Now, thank you for watching. I haven't really got much else to say. I hope you have a great one and I'll see you soon.